My name is Ryan Hernandez, and I'm an assistant professor at UCSF in the Department of Bioengineering and Therapeutic Sciences. As an assistant professor, I am engaged in educating students and teaching them how to conduct research. Hey, so, so how's that solid disability coming? That's going well. My goal is to excite students every year to enter in the field of research that I work in and to push the field of science further. A major part of my responsibility is to write grants to be able to develop new forms of, of science and to develop new methods for uncovering the um, basis of human health and disease. I grew up in San Leandro, California, in a working class town, um, and I went to public schools. I was a decent student. I got decent grades, A's, B's, a couple of C's, and I didn't excel particularly well in, in high school simply because I was more interested in, in playing sports and, and being physical. Um, I didn't want to sit down and really focus on my studies. It wasn't until this one day when I was taking pre-calculus in high school that my teacher told me, Ryan, if you want to get a job, you should go to college and major in mathematics. And I was kind of thrown back. I mean, I wasn't a particularly good student. I never even took an AP class in high school. Um, and for this teacher to tell me that really um, surprised me. And so I decided to go for it. Growing up, I was very close to my grandparents. And my grandmother had diabetes. And one of the questions that I had was, well, how did that happen and why? So my very first research project when I was an undergraduate was to try and come up with a conceptual model for how the blood glucose and insulin and insulin receptors interacted with each other to lead to the onset of diabetes. What we know is that people uh, across the world in different populations have different genetic backgrounds and these different genetic backgrounds can convey differential susceptibility to the disease. What's really great about studying biology is that I can do my research on the role that ancestry plays in changing different features about people. But what does that actually mean for me? Um, I can look at my own genome and, and say, okay, look, my genes tell me I should have brown eyes and curly hair. And look at that, I do. Um, and that's really fun. 